hello and welcome guys hope you are doing great so in this video today we will see some some functions around the web services in Moodle so we will try to call this first function itself the auth email get sign up settings so let me try calling this so this function will give you let me come here what is description say get the sign up required setting and profile fields so this will give you the required sign up form profile user profile fields that will be first name last name and the password and it will give you the password policy eight character at least one digit one lower one upper it and one a special character and this this is not giving you the username because username also is a required field so please make a note of that so username is also a required field and do you know you can create a user inside lms by using api in two way the first one is by calling the sign up method of the API that is called auth email sign up user. So, this one is a function through which you can create a user inside LMS, but it will not confirm the user. That means the user created through this function will be in the deactivated state. That means it will be suspended once the admin. Here or any user confirm then only that user will be able to log into the system and there is one more function to create a user that is a part of core use core user add core user create users so this one is a second function you can create users inside lms and this the user you create through this method will be in active mode that means the user created the email will be sent to that and the user will be able to log into the system got it so let me try this one so we already have checked the second second one that means the user created and con in confirming state in our previous video you can you can watch that video i will provide the link of that video in the description if you want to see but here i have checked the first one and i i am going to check this one itself now how this work so put the function here function name here and try hitting this it say invalid parameter why because i have not passed the required parameter yet so i have to pass that so click here and you can see the description this will be asking for username that is in require parameter clear so let me add here a username so put here my user name 01 clear put my user 01 then the second param this one is a required the second parameter is a password and this will not be asking for you the converted this you have to put here the normal text form not encoded one so i am going to put password at the rate one two three four so as you can see through this function you will get the how the password will be like the combination of at least one character one uppercase one lowercase one special and one digit so i have already passed here so let's see after this itself click on send and again it is asking it is saying invalid parameters why because there are more parameters that are required the first name is required put here the first name let's put here three and the second name is sorry last name is also 
required one put here the last name let's put my name itself ram then email is also a required one email so my user when at the rate yopmail.com i am going to just put the a sample email so these are all the required parameters now you see here the cities country all these are default recap challenge these are default stuffs so now click on send and here you will see some message it still say auth it is saying modal exception auth email no email try to send you an email but it fails that means the in my case user have been created but since i am testing this one on my local machine my system itself is not able to send the email at this point of time okay so let's try checking this whether this user have been created in my system or not so let's come here under user tab open in a new tab click on browse list and now you see your user have been created here you can see here you can see that it is asking for confirm confirmation the moment you will confirm then only after after the confirmation of this this user will be able to log into their account okay so let me try creating another user so put here a 02 and um 232 i am also putting here the email id making 02 and send again Uh, all get success but uh, the email function is not working in my local so it is giving you this error so come here and refresh again you see here the four users right now refresh again and now you see the fifth one so this one is created so if you confirm this then this user will be in active state otherwise it will be in suspended form or deactivated you can say and there is another way of creating a user we tried in our previous video but let me try here also so th this is a function let me come to that core create course now you can see sign up settings yes course you can see you can see courses mm -hmm. no it is taking time to take getting that but let me come to that directly and try core user create user so if you use this so how you can use this so method will be post just change your your function name here and now you see your function name got changed here also and remove all this this parameter this this sorry uh, ws is required all these are required but it takes the parameter as an array so i will have to pass in that way so come here and you can see you have to pass like this okay so the required fields remain the same like this let me enable one by one 
like this one so if that is username then you will have to pass like this this is my username then there will be first name first name sri 3 then there will be a last name Atom. and then there will be email and here you will not be required to put the password so this one is a email make it three and also change the username to zero three and try hitting this and let's see what it says invalid parameter detected so the username is fine the first name is fine last name is fine so this this last name is not required so let's hit again you see here the username first name last name email username auth password first name last name email password you can also put if you want so let me put the password here password is also required one like this and try sending and the moment you send it say the user ID that means the, your user is created now so let's see here come here and refresh you see the sixth user now this third one created and now you see there is no confirmation is required in this case so in this we have a API tutorial of Moodle you see three functions first one how to get the user required field by using this auth email get sign up settings the second one how to sign up a user or you can say create a user in the way it requires confirmation that means one additional step clear and the third one is how you can create a user and directly that will confirm in that will come in confirm state so usually whenever you are allowing access to the creation of user you should expose this function only because if the user will come through the direct creation and confirm they can misuse your system so the whenever admin confirm then only they can access so this is a good practice if you talk about some security terms here in model so thank you thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my video have a great day in case you see any challenges you can comment me out on my video i will try answering all your queries thank you thank you for watching and have a great day